Oh, hello everyone. Welcome to another exciting, spooky, terrifying edition of Encyclopedia Bombastica here on GiantBomb.com. I am Alex Navarro, and today we are going to play a game that I consider to be a little bit of a forgotten PlayStation 2 classic. Uh, insofar, at least, as I remember what the hell even happens in this game. Uh, I am, of course, talking about... Uh, hold on. We don't want to watch the uh, dumb intro trailer here again. Um, I'm, of course, talking about uh, Ghost Hunter for the PlayStation 2. Uh, this is a game developed by Sony Europe. Uh, I believe it was the Cambridge Studio originally. Uh, it was released by Sony exclusively for the PlayStation 2 in Europe originally uh, in 2003. And then a year later, Namco put it out here in the U.S., which is when I got my hands on it. Uh, I reviewed this game for GameSpot back in the day. Hang on. Mm hmm. Go on. No, okay, that's it for now. Uh, yeah, so I reviewed this game several years ago. I remember liking it quite a lot. Uh, it was the last time I played it, though, so honestly, I have no idea how well this game actually holds up. We're going to find out. Uh, this is not the main character. I don't remember who this is exactly. Uh, I do remember the creepy guy who was carrying the girl, though. Uh, who I believe is one of the main villain in this game. Played by Michael Gambon, of all people. Uh, that term I might think might be his only video game role. Oh, you know what? No, this is the, yeah, this is another character. I remember this. I'm starting to remember this a little bit. Uh, I believe this is the character played by Joe Morton, who uh, you may remember as Miles Dyson of uh, Terminator 2 fame. Yeah, what up, Digital Cloak? Uh, what up, shitty Matrix bullet time effects, because every game from the early 2000s had that at some point. Yeah, shoot those ghosts. I never really did understand how you shoot ghosts. I mean, they're incorporeal beings. I mean, this, it looks like he has crazy ghost guns, which you will, you will have over the course of this game as well. Uh, but still. Shooting ghosts. It's not the same as trapping ghosts, you know? Busting ghosts, if you will. Oh, awkward slow motion with guy who is totally not Vico the Carpathian, but might as well be. This game, if I recall correctly, if I recall correctly, uh, had a lot of Ghostbusters influence in it. Like, a lot. Um, some of it even, like, not so much... Ghostbusters in the movies as, like, the real Ghostbusters cartoon. Like, a lot of the character design, the ghost design stuff really looked a lot like that and was definitely inspired by that. You, however, do not play a team of wisecracking exactly. Ghostbusters. Exactly. You just play one wisecracking cop who apparently is going to point his gun at his partner, which just seems really impolite. No, you are Lazarus Jones, the uh, sarcastic fellow here. No doubt about it, she likes me. Mm-hmm, no doubt. Two years ago, the Detroit school murders made the Nationals. You probably didn't get it in the Kalamazoo Gazette. Night of a school play here. Oh, so, sick burn on his small-town upbringing. Wow, was there an arrest? No, he vanished. No weapon ever found. No motive. All investigation ran dry six months in. Cause of death? Never established. Autopsies drew a blank. Not a mark on any of the bodies. Yeah. I can say it was a weird scene to walk into that night. Definitely a weird vibe in this game as far as, like, the way it tries to balance kind of goofy comedy and, like, kind of really messed up, creepy stuff. I mean, that's that's definitely the thing it tries to pull from Ghostbusters is the, the idea that it can be kind of silly and funny while also being really kind of dark and disturbing in weird spaces, though Ghostbusters was obviously way less trying to be spooky. This game definitely tries to do some weird disturbing stuff here that is not always super effective, but I remember the, uh, the environments and, like, the world design and all that stuff being really, really good. Okay, 
Do you think you're worth that kind of effort? Uh, yeah, pretty much. I look like a prankster. That is the voice of Rob Paulson, by the way, a uh, voice actor who's been in a million different things over the years. No, sick burn. Yeah, great, great, great job there, man. Very helpful hint, yes. I'm sorry, what? Rob Paulson uh, was Yakko from Animaniacs. That's what I remember him most as. But he was also Lazarus Jones. Lazarus Jones, what a great name for a hero. Uh, hmm. Ah. Why would you, why would you set that to default? I don't... Inverted, man. Not into it. Down here, I guess. I'll get to that. Don't worry. I'll be releasing stuff here soon. Yeah, the whole premise of this game is basically you pull a giant Walter Peck and you release a whole bunch of spirits here in a minute, uh, which are, you know, unmistakably evil. Also, what high school basement has ever looked like this? Just throwing that out there. This is not this is not a high school basement. You are in the sewers right now. What high school would you build like this? Doesn't make any sense. Again, this game was made in Europe. Made by Europeans. I, taken by the fact, for instance, they use the word clamber. Who who says clamber out loud? No one says clamber. Europeans, I guess, maybe would. I don't know. Ah, uh, here we go. That's a valid question. Ah, uh, and here is the creepy ghost array that has all the spirits here, if I recall correctly. Why would you just push the button? Okay, well, two things. One... If you're going to make a crazy, you know, ghost trapping array that is full of, you know, just horrible, horrible spirits, why would you make it that easy to turn off? Why would you just have a button that you could just press, a big shiny red button that someone could just walk in and press that would release everything? That's a terrible idea. Second of all, when you see a giant machine and you don't know what it is, why would you just press that button and assume that something terrible wasn't going to happen? I just... Already, the leaps in logic this game is taking, very upsetting. But again, I do remember liking this game, especially the parts where you actually play it. Um, and some of the writing, and again, some of the, the world design, atmosphere stuff is really, really good. I don't know how much of that we'll actually get to do today, but we'll, uh, I'll try and get to at least one other world that is not just this high school. This isn't a long game, it's like, you know, seven, eight hour kind of thing, if I recall. There are a few different worlds. There's a really good, like, ghost ship level. There's this really creepy prison level that I remember. There's a whole section that takes place in this weird backwoods area that has, like, some really messed up stuff going on. Oh, right, the computer dude. Ooh, everything's all woozy. What's going on? What the hell's going on? Jesus, how could you not just what have you done down here? Well, I found something. I the machine well it exploded. I He's, of course, leaving out the detail where he is the one who made that happen. Also, still just holding on to that gun for dear life. Gas or something. What are you talking about? Lazarus? Are you okay? Of course. Yeah, I'm just show you what happened. Okay, so so you left him in and then you went down to the basement. Don't move. What are you doing? I said don't move. Yeah, good advice. Maybe if you tell her to move, that wouldn't happen. Nope. Instead, told her not to move, and then she got kidnapped. 
by not Vigo. Notes. Take a look at the file here. Murder. Apologies if this footage is a little bit uh, dark here. I'm running this through some crazy stuff to get, you know, the game running where I can actually, you know, record it properly. And it might be uh, causing a little bit of extra darkness that isn't there in the main game. Hopefully you can all see what's going on. Yeah, shoot that ghost with bullets! That to me seems like a really suspect understanding of how ghosts and electricity work in most in most every possible way. Just saying. Oh, camera. That would burn your hand so bad if you weren't wearing gloves. If I remember correctly, this robot starts getting real sassy at some point. Because every good game has a sassy robot, I think. Sassy robot. Yeah, running away, that's always a really good strategy. For most things. Ah, there's my ghost gun. Ah, yes, and the ghost grenade, which is effectively your ghost trap. I remember this being kind of my favorite part of the game because you just the way you trap the ghost is pretty cool. Hey, come on, what are you doing? Open the door. Still holding that pistol. Salient point. Yeah. Just point your gun at everything. It's it's like the only solution he has to any problem. Is this what Europe thinks of America? We just point guns at everything? I don't necessarily think they're wrong. Just, you know. Hunt this ghost. So yeah. Basically what you have to do is you have to shoot these guys, throw the grenade at them, to, and then just keep shooting until they're, they run out of energy, at which point they are weakened enough to be captured. That was sort of how it justifies, like, the whole you using bullets sometimes on ghosts. Uh, you can't always hit them with that stuff, because they keep phasing in and out of reality, and I think hitting them with that uh, 
that grenade keeps them grounded in reality where you can shoot them. I like that effect. I just like that effect where you, you, you suck the ghosts in. Another big ladder to climb. Oh boy. That's probably not good. Pretty dark in here. If only I had a torch. You mean a flashlight? Again, Europe. I'm just saying. There it is. Ah! No, not really. Oh, no. Oh. You being sad is going to be bad for me, right? Yup. Oh. Right. That vi negative visual effect is kind of cool, too. It's a good-looking game for a PS2 game. Especially for... Yeah, because, I mean, this game... 2003 is when this came out. It wasn't that long into the PS2 life cycle, I don't think. Yeah, fuck you, chair. And I mean, this isn't the most visually diverse environment in the game by far, uh, but there are some really cool looking ones. I just, you know, it, it, it's just, it just has good art design, I think. It just has, in that it's kind of unique. It just doesn't, it didn't look like a lot of other games that I had played. Oh. Did they tell me that at some point? Did I miss that detail? Or is they just, that's just when they decided to bring it up. Okay, now I have a shotgun. Terrific. Ah! I don't think I want to... Yeah, I don't really want to use the shotgun for that guy. Seems... Ah! Come on. Come on, camera. There we go. There we go. Letter. This wasn't a very challenging game, as I recall. Uh, they would sometimes throw a few different enemies at you, and that would get, you know, harder. Uh, I don't remember ever dying much or really having a hard, particularly hard time with the game's puzzles or anything, because there are a few, like, puzzle-solving moments here and there. They're not very tough or inventive. They're just kind of there. I think that was why I only gave this game like an 8 because I liked a lot of it, but just playing it was pretty simple. Like, it was, the, the mechanics were there kind of not to get in your way more than anything else. While well, they kind of put this, you know, the story and all this stuff together. What was that? I don't know. A woman screaming? Sorry. I'm being sarcastic, just because Lazarus is a little bit of an idiot, but, eh, you know. Thrown into circumstances he cannot possibly understand, I sort of get that. <sighs> Michael Gambon, man. I sort of can't believe, like, this, of all games, I think this, this is definitely the first game he was in. I don't know if it was the only one. I don't know if he ever did any of, like, the Harry Potter stuff or whatever, but... Of all the games to be in, this one. Ew. All hands stand clear. I can corrupt every little soul in the village as long as it gives me a thing. What thing? I want flesh. 
Ugh. That's never a thing you ever want anyone to say to you with, like, any amount of seriousness. Oh god. One kind of annoying thing is that when you're going in and out of combat mode, you have to, like, switch buttons constantly. So it's like... <sighs> anyway. So, like, you know, once you start shooting, like, you're in this combat mode, and the only way to go back is to, like, switch back to walking mode, which requires another button press, which, I don't know, just slightly clunky to me, but... See what I mean? Wait, that's the way I came in. That's not where I want to go. I think it's time to go upstairs. You know, I would be totally down if someone decided for some reason to make another one of these. I don't think anyone ever will. I mean, again, Sony... Whoa, that came out of nowhere. Oh, I forgot about this stuff. Right. That's a whole thing. This is a whole thing. Right, okay. There are also these astral puzzles, which I had completely forgotten about. Oh, you're about to find out. Yeah, see when you let the when you let all the ghosts out, you uh you got possessed by this one spirit who you call Astral, uh, who can perform certain puzzle solving tasks for you over the course of the game. Why are you pointing a gun at the nice ghost lady? That doesn't... is some awkward ass dialogue, but that's cool. So now I can kind of control her, and I can kind of float around. So basically what I'm saying is that Beyond Two Souls is just a giant ripoff of this game. You are a person who is attached to this ghost who can go around and perform tasks for you, uh, though Astral is decidedly less mis mischievous than uh, 
Aiden is and, and beyond. Thud. There we go. Puzzle. They they get slightly more complicated than that over the course of the game, though not a whole lot. So now I have this going. Climb up here. No oh, ghost. All right. Oh, frame rate. Again, PlayStation 2 era, folks. Not always uh, the most stable games, but I don't know. I mean, I, I think this game performs pretty damn well, considering what it's trying to do with the PS2 hardware. Shoot that guy. running away from you. Oh god, where'd he go? That, I didn't beat him yet. There we go. There we go. F that guy. I'm very angry at you. Ah. Oh boy. Guy with a shield, never a good thing. Also, snipers. I am missing. Hello. There we go. Yeah, take these guys out first. That seems like a good idea. Oh, come on. Ghost busting. Ghostbusters. Remember that other Ghostbusters? The one that was based on, like, the 70s TV show, and then they made another cartoon of it. Had the gorilla. The show had Larry Storch. I never saw the original TV series. I saw the, the old cartoon a few times. It was not good. It was that cartoon that, uh, that led the Ghostbusters cartoon to become the real Ghostbusters, which... I don't know. I mean, I don't know if that's... So the show came first, then came the movies, and, I mean, they're two different things, but they're both called, you know, Ghostbusters, so, I don't know. Where do you come out on that side of the battle? I, of course, come out on the side of the, you know, the Peter Bankman, Ray Stance, Egon Spengler, Winston Zedmore team, as opposed to the Larry Storch and Gorilla team, personally, but... That's just me. And now I'm back here. Okay. Here, while this cutscene is happening, I'm going cat out. Lazarus Jones, Detroit PD. I'm crazy. And you are information around. There we go. So much for small talk. Civility had a core objective. Accessing control. I am digital. Get over it. Okay. I severely regret all incoherence on my part in deletion of internal memory. Consequences of insufficient power. As to my primary functions, I am both guardian and guide. Guardian and guide of what? Guardian of the array. Guide to ghost hunters. The array? The array. Yeah, that thing you turned off. For the creatures you capture and an energy source for many of 
Walter Peck. Still just holding on to that pistol for no reason. Like, what? Why? It's like a therapy gun. Like, he just has to hold it at all times or he will just start having terrible panic attacks. And it just, you're not even holding it, man. It's just, like, it's like it's glued to his palm. Damn. Really sassy AI. Though he's right. This is all your fault, so... It is not unreasonable to pitch to him that he should be the one to take care of this. Wow, he changed clothes quick. Professor Brooke? Murder? Also, oh god, that jacket. Professor Brooke, my creator, has the answers. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. So where is the professor? No information. Could he be through here? I think the main reason I chose to play this instead of, say, like, the actual Ghostbusters game is because... I remember liking this more than the actual Ghostbusters game. I really wanted to like that Ghostbusters game that Majesco put out a while ago, but... I did not especially love it. I didn't think the voice acting was that great. I didn't think the writing was that great. Didn't think it played that well. I think it did some good stuff, but not anything too spectacular. Okay, so yeah, this is how you get to these other different environments. Uh, these are all like crazy haunted locations that you have to investigate. Here's the first one. Which one is this? Is this the... Okay, yeah, this is the abandoned town. This is one that I liked. Kind of a weird design. Oh, wait. Is that who? Oh, I remember this part. Yeah. This part tripped me up. This is one of the only parts that actually tripped me up because you have to stay out of sight of this thing. This little dude that sort of looks like a weird dog version of Slimer or something. And you have to kind of follow him around for a little bit. Stealth! My favorite thing in all video games. And this is not a particularly great stealth sequence, if I recall correctly. But, but, oh, damn it. Apparently I have limited time in which to do this. So let's stay out of his field of vision. There he is. Fortunately, he doesn't hear very well. see me. You do not see me. You don't see me. Good. Alright. This is working out nicely. Ooh, creepy banjo. Yes. It's never a good sign. I really like the soundtrack for this game, too. Like, just all the sound design stuff is really good. The voice acting is generally pretty great, even when the script kind of, you know, gets stupid music's really good. Just good, creepy stuff. 
without being like well it gets kind of melodramatic especially during some of those like crazy ghost action sequences but the atmospheric stuff's really good I actually remember this sequence pretty vividly because I remember having to like constantly deal with this guy spotting me and having to like constantly run back and hide it's one of those like weird memories that is sort of strangely seared into my brain from when I reviewed this game like nine years ago. I don't know why I remember that, but I do. Oh, hello. You're a... you're a ghost. Oh, hello. You're also a ghost. Dude, this wall also staying out of sight of that other ghost who is apparently just not really noticing any of this happening. spotted me, but it doesn't really matter, because I'm just going to kill all these guys. Screw you. Yes. Still one more, right? Yeah. that guy. Oh, there he is. Okay, he's open that gate. I'm just going to follow him in there. Sure. Okay. No. Camera. Camera. Some really good not handwriting ghosts ghost types crowbar okay that's all I can do in here. Let's wander back outside. If I remember correctly, this gator thing, this image of the gator is a... Uh... Okay, don't use the crowbar on that. Oh, wait a minute. Hello. What do we have over here? Yep, there we go. All right. I remember a surprising amount of this, or at least a surprising amount of this seems... Oh. Hello, coffin maker. Hey, Lazarus. What's up, dude? What can I say? I'm a sucker for guys who, you know, maintain my style of facial hair. This probably just says to me that my style of facial hair is very 2003, but whatever. Me and Lazarus were tight. I think now I have this key. I can 
Oh. Oh no. Oh, hello. Oh. Ow. Okay. There. Yes. I don't know if I'll have time to get to him. I remember this game having a couple of really good boss battles, too. Don't want to spoil too much of this game for anyone who might be interested in uh, playing it themselves, considering this is really, again, only like kind of a you know, seven to eight hour game. The mail order a used copy of it because it's not available digitally anywhere. I don't know, it's kind of a bummer. I mean, I know that not every PS2 game is available digitally and God only knows if they'll ever be available digitally again once all this uh, PS4 stuff happens, but sort of bummed that there was never any, uh, you know, no fond memories, no nostalgia for this game at all. No one really, I mean, I obviously some people played it, but it got exactly zero post-release recognition that I ever saw. house. I don't know if I remember what happens in this house. Oh, something wacky is about to happen. Ah! Okay, you just keep calm, ma'am. I'm a police officer. Police officer? Don't be ridiculous. How did you get here? What do you do snooping around my house? I'll use this gun to defend my virtue, young stranger. Make no mistake about it. Calm down. We don't need your gun. Basically, I was... Skip it then, Max. Listen, you have to help me. They're coming for the children. You have to do something. Let's just start from the beginning, can we? Okay, nice and calm. Who exactly... The spirits! Who do you think? They'll be here any minute. Normally, my son can be with him, but he's been called away. It is a fist. I can see you are... Ugh. Okay, I'll stop and take a look around. You stay here, please, ma'am. Uh, I could maybe use some backup out here. Do you have a phone I could use? A phone? Will it be here any minute? Thank you. Guys in here are tramping dirt all over a dignified lady's floor. Phones in the hallway. Again, just, just some weird stuff in this game, but most of it's, like, enjoyably weird. I don't know if I'll get, I hope I get time to, probably won't get to the crazy teddy bear monster that I remember from this game. I don't even remember where that pops up exactly, but that was one of my favorite things that I remember. Okay, so the phone's not so useful. Alright. 
actually drawing a blank as to what I'm supposed to do next. Nothing in here, right? No, I can't go any of those. No, it's just a wall hug. Wall hug is not actually something I need to do. Yeah, keep that keep that leg up. Nice pose. Different type of ghost energy. Wow. Real helpful hints there. Oh right, there's like this first person camera that you can use. Forgot about that. Can't go back there. Um, there's like a path over there, wasn't there? That. Just, just walk. Damn it. I probably can't get to that yet, can I? Yeah, me too. Let me just see, make sure that I didn't miss anything. The answer is probably just backtracking the way I came, because, you know, video games, but I don't know, for some reason I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Nothing in there. Definitely didn't miss anything upstairs. Sorry about this. I'm gonna say, I love the design of this house so much, I just want to wander around it em endlessly. Good location, too. You know, real good spot for a house. All right, we're just going to go. Yeah, we're just going to go back this way. I bet this is going to be the right thing, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. <sighs> I invariably do this. Okay. Oh, hello. These doors are open now. Ah, here we go. Oh, creepy church. An overused trope if there ever was one, but one I always find compelling for some reason. Tunnel. 
So he can't swim, but he can wade just fine. Got it. Hot crouching technology. Okay, here we are, new area. <laughs> Useful tip, thanks. Snipers. What? Ah. Where are there? Oh, Jesus. Okay, so I have this ghost sniper rifle. I suppose I should probably actually use it. Oh god, I'm being shot. Where are they? How do I... Probably should have paid attention and tried to remember actually how to use the sniper rifle properly. This is not the correct. It's not the ideal way to use a sniper rifle at all, but I can't seem to make the scope here. <sighs> Definitely doing this wrong. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay. Hitting that guy. Okay, that guy's. I killed a ghost. Good work. Killed another ghost. Yay. At the window. What window? What are you talking about? I don't even. You know what? I'm just gonna. Over here now. I feel like a lot of the cooler stuff, like a lot of the crazier environment stuff, come later in the game, but you know, this is one of those games where I think I would rather recommend it to people and say it gets cool than just show all the cool stuff. And you know, I mean, you got a sense of like what this game is. It doesn't really change too much mechanically beyond. Ah, it's not. I can't see. I, oh, this is not a good spot to use a sniper rifle. There we go. Oh god, what effect did I just turn on? I'm just one of those guys back there. But yeah, I mean, you've kind of seen what this game is mechanically and what it gets up to. It's kind of a neat, creepy action game, you know? Does some does some funny stuff, has kind of an okay... St has, you know, I'd say a solid story. Good one. Oh, God. Okay, so that I cannot... That's the thing I cannot use my ghost grenade on. This thing. So that's a, a dude with a giant gator head and a chainsaw coming after me. That's unfortunate. I'm not really hitting him. Will he come in here? Maybe not. Oh god. Okay. He's dead. Oh god. Another one? Oh. Oh crap. Alright. Uh run back in here. Oh, I don't really have much of that left either. Let's just see if I can handle Crazy Chainsaw Man before I uh put an end to this. Ah! Oh, I'm out of all my ghost ammo. Crap. Uh, this be a good time to... Maybe... Yeah, okay. So I can shoot this guy with a shotgun. Great. Because that makes sense. Whatever. 
Oh, there's another. Is there another one? Is that the other one? Is that the last guy? Let's go up into this house, see what's going on. Oh, God. I hear a sound. Is that one of those howler things? Uh, but where is he? I don't know where that's even coming from. It's somewhere around here, but... Yeah, you know, I think we're going to call this. So that was a look at Ghost Hunter for the uh, PlayStation 2. It's a game I, uh, I remember enjoying quite a lot, and I actually enjoyed playing right now. You should check it out. Once again, I've been Alex Navarro. Thanks for watching.